for that i have one of the grid which is related to my one of the cube and you can see that i have the product revenue drivers and i have kept some of the volume for it and this is the actual number which i have for my quarter one for this year in the actual scenario with working fi20 so in first step we are going to copy this to the next year for the same quarter and the actual and baseline combination uh, let us proceed and try to achieve the same before we proceed i'll show you that for the next year i have already kept one of the substitution substitution variable so we are going to utilize the substitution variable next year which is representing fy21 so let us proceed and first copy the data of this year to the next year and for this we'll change the combination only and here we have the calculation manager open let us proceed and start writing now the rule for it browse to your specific cube and open till the rules right click new rule this is going to ask the name you want to give to the new rule so it is as product revenue drivers we are talking about i'm giving the name prd revenue driver copying to nxt next year i've copied this name also and we are going to get a window of writing our rule let us start writing the rule for us i'm going to type the rule instead of selecting it from the designer view and we know that a rest of the, these combination the combination which i'm showing you on the screen this will not change so i'm going to put it as my within fixed statement let us start writing down usd usa there is a space on it so direct input and then it is for keyboard and for for all descendants of product revenue driver uh let me go and find out what is the actual name for it so if i go for none system is going to show me the actual name is ofs product revenue driver i've copied it and keeping it usd usa ofs direct input this also let me copy whatever we have as actual name in the system so by this our fix is ready let us go and also put corresponding corresponding in fix and we want it to do the data copy so we will see for what combination we wanted to change this so we have oep actual then dimensional operator oep 
working of FY20. This we want to copy the data copy from here to the OEP plan. Again, dimensional operator. I've shown you a moment ago. Uh, we wanted to do it for FY21 and for this baseline version. So this is the combination for which we want to do copying. Let us validate this. So this got validated and so it got saved and deployed also. Let me play the rule. So this part should have performed the chain now for us. Let us go and refresh. So you can see the numbers which we have over here. This got copied to the other slides. Now there's a small change which I'm going to do. I want to make the volume increased by 5%. Let us see how we can increase that. So here already we have copied the data. I'm going to take the same combination, but because the data is available in that, and I wanted to change only this of 21, I'll keep it as part of my fix and remove the dimensional operator. And we wanted to increase the volume part only. So we can just write one simple command. OFS volume, then remember is the account number is OFS volume. OFS volume is equal to existing OFS volume multiplied by 1.1. Now, because we have already used, I'll just comment this part. And we are going to use the second portion of our code. I've already verified it, OFS volume, okay, because we have the parent at top, so let us get rid of it. All looks good. Let us deploy this again. We want to deploy it. Yes. After deploying, the deployment got successful. And playing it, I played the rule, the launch, launching status. This also got finished successfully. And let us see the change, the increment into this by 5%. So now you can see we have the change of 111, 11.1 11 got added into it, 122.10. But because you see now we are talking about the volume and if our volume, the selling price, if it is coming up in decimal, that's fine. But here we are, we are handling the volume. Uh, we don't expect the volume should have been into the decimal. So for that, we can proceed and make a small change. And we can just write a small script into it. 
Now of rounding off. Round off this number. Where let us make a small change also in selling price also and increase the selling price by 5%. So for the same, because there are spaces, let us do it in double quotes. Uh, yes, so this multiplied by 1.05. So here I am, I made a change. I'm increasing price by 5% and the volume by 10%. And let us see what happens. Validation got successfully. Now the deployment also went fine. Just playing the rule. So after playing, we'll see there is a there should have been change. So now the number we should get whole number over here. You can see it got round off to 134, 269. So whole number we have got. And here the price, as for price is concerned, it is coming up in decimal, and that's fine. That's acceptable. This you can see. 111 grown to by 10 percent to 122.1 to 122 plus 12 we got 134 because we had the same same as source same as target so in between we had 122 also so it grown to another by 10 percent and then now we have with a round of number and this the, the price we can see it is with a decimal number. That's it for my site for today. Should you have any question, you can back, get back to us at bisptrainings.com. Thank you. Have a good day.